time to take a look at what's new in Warframe for the week commencing the 5th of December 2022 and we'll start with Nightwave. No wait, in fact we won't. We'll come and see what Chipper has first. What shard are you selling this week? It is, as expected, the Azura shard. And I forgot these things were actually in there. Why does this all look slightly different? Wasn't that one down? But it's the Azura Archon shot, which means more than likely the Archon hunt this week is going to also be the same shot. Because, for, yeah, for some reason, that happens. It only happens with the blue one, which I'm perfectly fine with because I want quite a few of the blue ones. But it's just annoying to see that pop up, which means it's Burrell this week. It is Grenier based, it will start a mobile defense mission, then excavation mission, I don't think I've seen excavation in there, not sure on that one, and then obviously the showdown at the end, but that is all fairly easy. I keep getting rubbish rules like this, a Lato, or a Gracata, or the Peregil, I guess the Peregil's pretty decent. Carl's Garrison mission this week? Well, that Blue would be Sneaky Savitars. This is actually one of my favourite ones, and it, I'm kind of annoyed the timed one isn't here, because I've got this thing down to such a speed run through it. You can literally do all of these in one run. Apart from maybe the kill 20 Norma, you can do it. Blue girls say but luckily it's not asking to you to do this timed, because that will be time consuming because there is 20 of them if you were to try and speed run through it but it's easier to just take your time and let them keep spawning in which would Call take longer than the 15 minutes the rest of them really really easy to do these then obviously back to Nightwave for elite acts defeat a silver grove spectre and defeat five ugh, void angels in the Zaramon that's easy, that, I don't know if I can be bothered to go to the Zaramon and find five angels, to be honest. Normal act, catch six rare servo fish in the Orb Valis, complete three sabotage missions, complete nine invasion missions of any type, destroy a crew ship with four red artillery while hunting those hollow keys, can do that one very easily, complete three Kuva Siphon missions. To be fair, all really easy ones to do. That's going to be time consuming. That one, it's just one cruise ship with a forward artillery, so yeah. It's got to be the Void Angels and the nine invasion missions of any type that are going to take most of the time. Having a quick look through the cred offerings this week for Nightwave and don't actually... Ooh, I lie. It is there. Why did that not pop up when I searched for Stanax? One of Stanax's alternate helmets are here. He has something like three of them in here. So there should, in theory, be a few more than that. There is Grawl's Kubradon Floof, the Sindor Desert, Desert? Dagarak skin. Desert comes from the Maelok Desert Camo skin. These are blueprints to build the skins. The Glaive itself is here. This is the blueprint to build the actual glaive and the only way to get the blueprint to build the actual glaive. The Plink's Shock Camo Skin blueprint that I may actually pick up simply because we have the Tenet Plinks and it could go on that pretty well. Grawls. Hmm. Pobla Floof. Falco Shock Camo Skin blueprint. Augment Wise. Ambush Optics for the Rubicore that decreases zoom the decoy augment for Loki, and the viper augment. Yeah, 100% ammo efficiency for two seconds is on headshot is just kind of too low. Aura-wise, if you don't have animal instinct, loot detector is there and worth picking up. If you have animal instinct, that does loot detector and enemy radar. I still recommend that over this because it leaves the aura slot for other things, but if you don't, it's there. Or if you just want to extend the range of your loot radar, you can have this and Animal Instinct. There is Shotgun Scavenger. Physique increases your base health, not your modded health, by 90%. And Sprint Boost, yeah, for dash polarities. Mm, not anything of use. Energy Siphon's so much better than any of these anyway. So is the Corrosive one. 
Heading over to see what Titian has and it's F to say thanks. Thank you very much, Wise. Oh, because there. Ah, thank you. I was wondering why you came up with that. Anyway, see what Titian has for his Steel Path on our store this week. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the three former. This is what gives us our Platinum to Steel Essence conversion rate. Because that's 35 Platinum to buy three former or 75 Steel Essence. Which is what makes you go through this and realise some of these things aren't so bad. They're about where they're supposed to be. And sometimes they come across with things like Riven mods that are just stupidly expensive and not worth picking up. Obviously, former always worth picking up. If you do unlock a lot of Veiled Rivens, so is the Veiled Riven Cypher that will just instantly unlock a Veiled Riven, but just don't buy the Zaw one from here. It's kind of not worth it. But that's not here this week. Three former is. And of course, if you have Hellman's Invigoration segment, it is still worth coming in, and, coming in and having a look at these because it gives you the ability to get to that 10th Invigoration and you can take any of the random Invigorations here from any of these frames, even if you have already used it, and you can put, uh, well, they're all basically crit chance, a thousand armor on whatever frame you happen to have equipped. Varuna, with a thousand extra armor, could be a little bit overkill. One thing I am noticing is she lacks the pink spot on her neck. After so many days, that should have started to have grown by now. Well, with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Really is weird not to see that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.